So, has your new female line with your specially purchased Kasaina babe not doing enough damage against the mighty Vorian infantry lineups? And you wonder why, despite being their counter, why do your PNG women still not love you? Well, I can provide one solution to your problem, recently being added in the slot machine event. For a mere price of let me just see. Yeah, seems about right. You can get your very own marching skin. Hey, I never said it was fair. So the female lines got their very own marching skin to buff up their commander damage. A 30% increase isn't anything low, and the 5% cavalry v infantry counter bonus is great. But how does this stack up against the castle skins also found in this event? If you're a low to moderate spender of this game, I'll just keep it real, this ain't for you. The value you could get out of this in this case is a joke, but I am speaking subjectively here and comparing it to what else is available, and even so, I would still focus on the castle skins. If you were looking to boost your female lineup's damage, they can provide the same 30% bonus and will even give a 10% cavalry v infantry counter bonus as well. But what does this commander damage even mean? Well, that's the fun part. It is boosting your commander's damage coefficient. Some commander active are unique like Arya's damage, buffing and Annie doing direct damage equal to percentage, which ignore the counter effect. So whereas Arya can benefit from active damage, buffs further boosting her active damage, Annie is ignore this. Just a little fun thing to know, but if you can stack these buffs, what is the limit with what we have currently in the game? Well, all commander at max 4 star level have 260% commander active damage. Added 60% from both the castle and marching skins will put this up to 320%. And now we can add the strong assault dragon skill, boosting their damage by another 20% or in a rally stacking up to 50%. So from solo attacks, your max commander active damage is now 340% and in rallies up to 370%. So with all this is about a 31% damage bonus from solo attacks and a 40% damage bonus in rallies. Or purely from the marching skin, it will provide just over 11.5% damage bonus. So you say it doesn't sound like much, uh... Well, you're right, but do consider this is a part of the female lineup, which though can be inconsistent at times, does deal a great amount of damage with their commander actives. And having more initial damage dealt to the enemy's line is an effective damage reduction for yourself. And really these items besides the dragon skill, which is way cheaper compared to these skins, aren't really meant to be individually bought and used by lower spending players. These are premium items for more high spending female players who have Layla and her weapon maxed out for maximum amount of commander actives. An actual good thing about this marching skin is that the counter bonus although effectively is going to negate enemy counter reductions for your caps, it isn't actually a passive effect, and you need the marching skin equipped to get the bonus. Don't believe me, look at other recently added castle skins and see that their counter bonuses are passive. And yes, that is good. The whole boosting counter is to negate enemy counter reductions, so your troops ain't losing as much damage, and it more and more important for max players. And given this, you would assume the weakness and bleed variants of these skins will follow the same rule. And in saying that I believe the infantry one will have bleed damage plus 5%, and the weakness skin will have a silence effect of only 10 seconds after first weakness attack. But those will come out later, but for now, boosting cavalry was probably best choice. But I doubt we will see as much in top UC finales, and Vorian will still be the most popular pick as a whole. But let's see.